Okay, that's not, that's a beautiful question. Okay, let me just uh, give you the, these this this methodology that we have developed. That there are four steps. I mean, this, and this is by the way for all of for all of us. They could be helpful for all of us in order to uh, make ourselves conversant with the Quran, in order to ourselves to come make ourselves closer to the Quran. I suggest four steps. And starting off uh, with the first step, I say that uh, the first way you actually introduce the reader or yourself. With the, with the scope with which the Quran has been written, like the background, the language, the history, the people that you find it, like who are the Israelites, who are the Ishmaelites, who are the prophets. So like an overview of the Quran. So the starting point of understanding the Quran should be, should be like having an overview of the Quran. This is the first step. The second step would be to have a general introduction to the Quran in the form of selections from the Quran. So instead of reading the whole of the Quran, you just read uh, people have published anthologies. We have also published anthology. So like a short, short, uh, brief a summary of the Quran in the form of uh, various uh, passages and surahs brought together. This is the second step. And the third step is that you, you pick up the whole of the Quran and you start from the beginning. Now, these three steps should be in tandem with the fourth step. I mean, parallel to the, that fourth step. And that is to understand the language of the Quran. I mean, it's not just the Nazara Quran, but it's like when you read the Quran, you don't need a translation and you're able to understand the Quran. So that is like a one-year effort that you can, be, that all of us can make, like an hour a day for five days a week. Uh, there are so many apps and so many websites which offer you to teach Quranic Arabic. So the Quranic Arabic that I'm uh, referring to is, is, is one in which when you read the Quran, you start reading the Quran, you'll do away with the translation. It's like understanding the Quran directly. And that is, a, that is something that all of us should aspire because as Muslims, we are alienating ourselves from the message of God. But having said that, unless, until you have the Arabic knowledge, fine, you read a translation. But you see the advantage which the text of the Quran has on just a translation is that when you read the, the Quran in its original language and you are able to understand the Quran in its original language, the impact it has on you is, is marvelous. The translation is like getting the message transmitted. But the original Quran is something in which you don't not only understand the message, but because it's God speaking to you, the, the extent of impact that it has on our hearts is unmatched. It actually inspires you to follow what it says. A translation would, might not inspire you. It might make you understand. But what, an, what the additional thing which an, the original language might make you do is that you are inspired into doing what it says. It has a very strong and important influence on our hearts. So I think it is recommended for all of us that we make this life plan in which, as I said, it's just, an one year, just a question of one year of consolidated study in which you are able to learn the Quranic Arabic that is sufficient for you to, to discard any, any translation. And I think this is, a, this is a goal that all of us should have in, our, uh, in, in front of us. And particularly, uh, boys and girls like you who are growing up, if you can spare this time, uh, I mean, you, you'll see that it's worth the while.